The uh, IMF's managing director is still on her tour of three African countries. Uh, she just landed in Uganda. She'll be spending quite a bit of time there. Thereafter, she'll move on to Mauritius. But she started her tour in the Central African Republic. And that's where we're heading right now, to the capital, Bongi, where my colleague Uche Koronko joins us now live from. Um, Uche, in the CER, the IMF's managing director spoke about a range of issues. She covered the need to reduce tax exemptions, to rebuild institutions, devastated, of course, by the violence that we saw there from 2013. Even though the external macroeconomic environment is pretty tough, to be honest, but what else did she cover while she was there? Well, Rama, one thing uh, she did do was yesterday meet President Tuadera. Today she met with legislators at the National Assembly. Let me just give you a summary of what she discussed while she was here. One thing uh, she did do was praise the progress the government has made when it comes to streamlining its uh, civil service. And of course, uh, one other area was she was impressed with the fact that they've managed to uh, manage that treasury as well. But she did uh, outline some of the changes she hoped they could make. She said one area was that they needed to expand financing, especially domestically. As you know, CAR has one of the lowest uh, tax revenue collection uh, rates globally. She also talks about the fact that they needed to level the playing field for the private sector uh, in order to help that uh, part of the economy thrive. But most importantly, she talks about the fact that they needed to maintain the peace uh, that is currently uh, in the country. She said without development, there's no security. Without security, uh, there's no development. That's what she told uh, uh, pres the president uh, here. She also outlined some of the areas where they plan to invest that $116 million extended credit facility. She talked about implementing uh, some of those government reforms and also uh, helping with infrastructural development. As you know, infrastructure here in Bangui, the capital city, is obviously uh, completely uh, broken down. Uh, one thing she did as well was talk to women leaders in the country. She talked to students and she even visited an orphanage. Uh, and one one thing she highlighted was she was here to talk to the people and, of course, find out uh, where it hurts. Indeed. Uh, let's talk about Mauritius. That's the last stop of our African tour. And for a lot of African policymakers, it's a bit, they have a hate and love relationship with this country. We've got a corporate tax rate there of 15%, some pretty generous credits for taxes paid in other countries, and no charges on capital gains tax. The accusation is that Mauritius is essentially Africa's regional tax haven. Is this something she's going to cover while she's on the island? Mm. Well, one thing the IMF did tell us, uh, well, the only thing the IMF did tell us uh, was that she'll be attending a conference, or she'll be attending a conference on cross-border banking uh, and the regulatory environment. So it's highly likely this tax issue will come up. Now, we do know the IMF has been engaging increasingly more on tax evasion uh, and issues around uh, tax, uh, especially about how it uh, affects developing uh, countries. Now, they did recommend uh, earlier last Last year to Mauritius, they talked to Mauritius, uh, one of the missions uh, there, and they told the country that they need to cut back on that zero tax system uh, because it was hurting the domestic economy and, of course, the banking sector. Now, Mauritius hasn't really responded uh, to the IMF's recommendations uh, just yet, but suddenly we know it will uh, come up uh, during their discussions uh, there. Now, one thing to note is that the strategy she seemed to employ here on ground was uh, um, she was more about uh, talking to the people and finding out where it hurts. So maybe she'll employ that same strategy rather than coming down hard uh, on Mauritius about what they need to do. Rama. Indeed. We'll be there for the time being. Thank you for that. That's uh, Ucho Koronko, of course, in the Central African Republic capital of Bungay.